This blog is exploring more of Steve Bakoff, the new practitioner we're looking at within our BTEC drama course. I have, I think, two to three videos, which I'm going to do an overvlog of when they're uploaded and they will be in this category. What I'm here now to talk about his style I'm looking into more. I've looked at one of the players, I don't know what play it was. Um, it's based around a guy, I think called Steve or Roy and his dog. And the language and the way he uses words is a mouthful. The best way to describe it from my point of view is he takes Shakespearean theatre, mixes it with modern day Cockney rhymes with the most filthiest language you've ever heard on God's earth. And he mashes it together to create quite a powerful piece of drama, I believe. As I first looked at him, I thought he's over the top expressions. He, every time you say something, you over body language, you show it, you mean it. And I kind of thought that kind of drama limits the words you can say to think of actions. As you, I just thought you'd have less words and more actions. This, his drama, his technique is to put as many words in your mouth as possible with as many motions in your body as possible at once to overload your senses. But what that gives to an audience perspective is an amazing, spectacular piece. It sounds weird, but it's you, you experience someone's raw emotions of literally throwing everything they got at you with so many words and body expressions your brain doesn't lose interest. As I was watching my cl fellow classmates do it, I, I did the same piece as them, but just differently. I didn't lose interest. It was so fascinating to watch this style of everything going on, everything happening compared to Stanislav Lasky's, which is realistic. Don't lose the character. Be the character. Make people believe you are the character. This one is like, you look at him and say, that's not a character. That's someone messing around. That's, you know that person isn't real. But that's the catch I, I believe he's got. Because you can also do quite a serious piece of drama with his style. Even though it comes across quite funny, quite over the top. I believe that you can get a degree of impact, of realism, of just something wow from it. The realism aspect is a bit less. But the serious, serious notes and drama with Burkhoff's style can be increased tenfold dramatically and that's what I'm excited to find out more about how we're going to mess around with his styles and stuff I've also found a quote by drama critic Alice Caesar that's some name I'll put it in the thing below and I think it sums up Burkhoff's style amazingly it, it everything I thought everything I've looked at Burkhoff right now sums him up in this style Uh, and that's a bog uh, summarise. I believe his style of explosion and just filth of words in your mouth that overloads you is an impressive style and can be developed to be quite a serious piece whilst also can juxtapositions with the funny side of drama, quite a humorous aspect. And it's about, with Berko style, finding that fine balance, the just the, the cusp of the line of which can tilt you to serious or comedy.